It has been a very long seven years, and as I stand here today, I can't believe that this day has finally come. The day that I have longed for, the day that I have turned up, the day that we could live home has to rest. A chance to finally say goodbye. Mommy will be in my heart and soul. I love you with every fiber of my being. And have a little closure. We're glad it's over and we're finally able to lay mom to rest and we're looking forward to starting a new chapter in our lives as we end the chapters in mom's. The 44-year-old mother of two went missing in November 2002 and was found in South Carolina in January after her convicted killer, Chadwick Falks, drew a map that led to her remains. The Q Center for Missing Persons in Wilmington led the way in the search for Alice and was there when her remains were discovered. But on a personal endeavor for me, it was something personal because the children, the girls, relied on me so heavily to help them, and we were able to do that for them, and that was a great sense of accomplishment. Kaysen and the family had a team of volunteers help with the searching. Jim Williams was one of them. He didn't know Alice, but still stood by them in the long search. It brings a closure in a way. It doesn't do away with the memories but we know it's no longer any need to search. Those memories are something all will hold on to. One day, when I was a teenager, I asked her why she always planted a flower bed in front of my bedroom window. She looked at me with a serious look on her face and said to me, do you really think I'm stupid? I know that you sneak out of your bedroom window at night. <laughs> Memories of a mother always missed and never forgotten. Ashley White, News 14, Carolina.